Hi everybody, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and it helps you uh, to choose some plants uh, for the darker shady areas of your garden. Uh, I'm in the woodland garden here now um, and the spring is really starting to show its face and some, we've got some amazing flowers coming up. Um, some that you'll know and some maybe that you won't. Um, so I'm going to take you around and show you some of these that you can use for a shady area in your garden. Uh, for if you're lucky enough to have a patch that you can turn into a woodland garden, it'd be fantastic. And of course, we can add all sorts of uh, design features to that to help the little uh, insects and things uh, to uh, share your garden with you. Uh, so let's go and have a look at what we've got around here. First of all, we've got here Arum Italicum, uh, and it's got this kind of marbled effect leaf on it. Um, which is great for a darker area uh, in your garden. It really kind of lifts up and it's got a fantastic sort of architectural shape to it as well. Uh, and you can see like you get more marbling on some and it really does lift up a, a, a dark corner. Um, and later on in the growing season you'll have on stalks these lovely orange reddy berries that come up which uh, are really quite bright and look quite stunning. As you see, we've got them mixed with a few snowdrops here. And also over here for leaf color, we've got Lamian. Uh, now this is a ground cover uh, and a word of warning, as nice as it looks in a small area here, um, it can take over very, very quickly. So you've got to be very careful with this and keep on top of it. But when you add it to the leaves of the Italicum, uh, Arum Italicum here, it really is quite a nice feature. Okay, this plant here is uh, pulmonaria, or commonly named as lungwort. Uh, as you can see, it's got lovely speckles on the leaves here, which, when it rains, almost appear silvery, which is really, really lovely. And these leaves stay on all through the winter. They get a, a little bit sort of taddy, but on the whole, they give you a nice all-round sort of coverage throughout the year, which is great. And then, of course, as, as we're looking at, you get these great flowers in spring. Uh, a plant to, uh, to put in a dark area of your garden, uh, into a woodland garden, um, and they grow quite merrily and uh, really easy just to sort of transplant and have growing around. A great spring plant. And of course, we can't forget hellebores, fantastic spring flowering plant great to have in any woodland garden or shady area or even in your borders and as you can see these are the older leaves that I left on and I think they add something and we can just take these off as the uh, weeks go on and they start to look a bit tattier and let this new growth come through that's all looking fresh and green now this is another hellebore this has got an unfortunate name of uh, stinking hellebore, um, which is a real shame because it really had something to a dark corner in your garden in springtime and uh, to a woodland garden as well. I've got them down here in this woodland garden and they look great. Uh, the, the light green on these really stands out against the darker greens uh, of, of the shrubs and uh, really makes a display, I think. Now this plant here is uh, Sorberia and it's a great plant for the woodland garden. It's got these fern-like features about them. Quite insignificant flowers but really we're going for the leaves on this plant which is fantastic and they spread really quickly so you've got to be careful um, you know to keep them contained but if you're looking for more plants to dot around the area in a woodland garden or a shady area, these are great plants to have. One of the darker corners 
we have in the woodland garden, I've placed the shrub Acuba japonica. This is a great shrub to have to fill in a dark corner. Uh, really lifts it and of course we get the red berries on it later on in the seasons uh, and it really does make a nice feature to lift those corners up. And this is a little design feature that I've added just to add something different to the garden. It's just a variegated ivy and uh, an old branch that I managed to find in the garden. Um, stood it on its end and it really does add a nice feature to this part of the garden for something to look at as you're walking around.